Hi, my name is Vince Cerf. I'm the founding president of the Internet Society, which began uh, operation in January of 1992. But we announced the creation of the Internet Society at an INET conference in June of 1991 in Copenhagen, Denmark. The INET conferences uh, were begun by Larry Landweber. Uh, the reason for announcing the creation of the Internet Society uh, was a message that I got from uh, Steve Wolf, who at the time was at the uh, SISE organization, CISE, of the National Science Foundation. They had been sponsoring a secretariat for the Internet, Internet Engineering Task Force, which at the time was led by Phil Gross. He and I were both employees of the Corporation for National Research Initiatives, an organization founded by Bob Kahn. Uh, it was uh, advised uh, that uh, the NSF didn't want to keep spending money on the uh, Internet Engineering Task Force because that was research funding, and in fact the IETF had become by this time uh, a much more commercially oriented activity when many different vendors who were part of the uh, Internet community were participating in the creation of and, and uh, evolution of the Internet protocols. So uh, it immediately occurred to me that uh, we would need to create an organization that could uh, gather funding uh, from a variety of sources in order to support the Secretariat. Uh, I met with uh, my then colleagues in the Internet uh, Activities Board, later to become the Internet Architecture Board, and described uh, this notion of an Internet society modeled after professional societies uh, elsewhere. Uh, and after we got most of the uh, uh, processes organized, I recall that there was a race between Steve Wolf and John Postel to see who could write the first $70 check to become the first member uh, of the uh, Internet Society, and John Postel won. Now, of course, the many years have gone by, 20 of them in particular, and we're now celebrating uh, here in Geneva the 20th anniversary of the Internet Society. I want to acknowledge especially the leadership of Lynn Santamor, who has been the president of the Internet Society for at least a decade now. Uh, it was her decision to bid for the .org top-level domain operation, which produced an enormously improved uh, economic picture for the Internet Society and has allowed it to expand dramatically its efforts to promote openness and spread of Internet all around the world. So I look forward to seeing all of you at this new 20th uh, anniversary here in Geneva, and I hope we'll have an opportunity just to share and reminisce about the past and speculate about the future. In the meantime, I'll see you on the net. The idea for ISOC um, really arose in the early 1990s in connection with the growth of the Internet beyond its initial base of users in the research and educational communities. Uh, in particular, uh, with the increased commercial and international participation, Vince Cerf and I felt that most new users would benefit greatly from a, a better understanding of what the Internet is, how it might evolve in the future. Uh, this informational aspect was one key reason for starting ISOC. Another reason was to have an organization uh, devoted to the preservation of important historical material um, relating to the Internet. And at the time, the basic work on Internet standards development was being carried out uh, by the IETF with Secretariat support from CNRI. This evolved over time into a role for ISOC in helping to support the IETF standards process uh, going forward. Another objective for ISOC that we felt worth uh, pursuing uh, was the creation of a global community of users that could interact with each other via the Internet itself. Um, or by a selected uh, conferences and uh, workshops. One early effort along those lines was to bring into ISOC the already established INET uh, series of uh, conferences. And a large number of people and organizations have been involved in the creation and evolution of ISOC over two decades of its existence, uh, all of whom I believe deserve our appreciation for their helpful contributions. I would note especially the role that CNRI played in funding and incubating ISOC during its first few years, in particular the contributions of Vint Cerf both as a CNRI employee and as the first president of ISOC during that period. I believe that ISOC will continue to play an important role in the coming years 
as the use of the internet grows to encompass most of the world's population. So, uh, happy 20th birthday, Isaac. Hello, everyone. I'm Raul Echeverria. I'm serving of the, in the board of the Internet Society since uh, 2008, and I'm the chair of the board of the Internet Society since 2009. I'm very glad to be part of this uh, 20th anniversary celebration of the Internet Society, and I'm very proud, of course, of being the chair of the board during this special year for the organization. The first time that um, I participated in an, an international Internet event was in 1996 in Montreal. I participated as a, as a student in a workshop organized by the Internet Society. And it was the, the way in which I, I showed that I became uh, involved in the international community. And many colleagues from Latin America took the opportunity of those meetings for uh, meeting uh, among us and try to organize ourselves at the regional level. And so it is um, incredible for me when I I I see to the I look to the past and um, I I see how I started to to participate in in the international level uh, thanks to the Internet Society and now uh, 15 years later I'm the chair of the board of the organization and it is amazing when I remember I met uh, Bin Surf for the first time in that meeting and he was like a, a hero for me. And now I'm seated in the same seat that he was many years ago. And I think that uh, this is a uh, very s a small anecdote, but it shows how the Internet Society has been very active in involving people from around the world in, uh, in, in the discussion um, about uh, Internet public policies, but also is in bring people involved in activities related with the development of the internet in different regions and um, through the internet also participating in the development of our countries, our, our societies. Um, this is uh, what I can remark from the internet society. Now is 20 years later after the, the, the foundation of the organization we have tens of chapters from uh, many countries from different regions and tens of, of organizational members and thousands of people, members, individual people, uh, members of the organization. I think that this is an incredible, an incredible capital for any organization. And this is the only thing that uh, I can anticipate from the, for the future of the Internet Society is a big success in continue doing what the Internet Society has been doing until now, bringing people together for the benefit of all the society, of all the world. I'm very proud to be part of this organization. Thank you, the Internet Society, for giving me the opportunity to participate in the, in the organization. And congratulations for all the success, all the work that has been done in those uh, very young 20 years. I'm Lynn Sainamore, President and CEO of the Internet Society, and it gives me great pleasure to congratulate the Internet Society's founders, members, chapters, board members, and staff on reaching our 20th anniversary. We owe our thanks to many, known and not so well known, as the Internet has improved virtually every aspect of our lives today. We hope you'll join our celebrations over the coming year, and we invite you to join us in Geneva next April, 22nd to the 24th, at our Global Internet Conference, Global INET. Our hope for the future is that everyone in the world has equal access to ubiquitous, reliable, and open internet, where all countries of the world are on par. And we look forward to working together to safeguard an open internet. Thank you to all, and happy 20th anniversary, ISOC.